Welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from a majestic duplex penthouse with 360 degree views above the High Line in West Chelsea. With 13 foot ceilings and floor to ceiling windows, it's the perfect place to take in stunning Hudson River and city views. Now this home has it all, a top of the line chef's kitchen, an amazing master suite, but one of my favorite features is this nearly 2,000 square foot wrap around terrace. This magnificent home offers four bedrooms, four and a half baths, and so much more. You know what, you just have to stop by and see it for yourself. Now let's get started not too far from here in Gramercy Park. We're at the home of interior designer Amir Kamnapur. Amir's tailored designs can be seen in everything from Manhattan apartments to Hamptons estates and more. Now let's see what he did in his own home. Hello. My name is Amir Kamnapur and welcome to the home I designed here on Park Avenue in New York City. I'm the principal of Amir Kamnapur Design and as a designer I believe that it's important to take any space, whether large or small, contemporary or modern, and to develop it to its full potential. And that's exactly what I did here at my home. Come on in, let me show you. Clearly upon entering, one sees the reflection is very important to me. Using mirrors on this entire wall allowed for me to double the space. But I'm also a huge fan of symmetry within my design. In order to find the perfect sense of symmetry, I had to find the central axis of the apartment and then to design on the right and on the left side of it in order to make it balance out. To the right of the central axis, you'll find a 12-foot sofa where the back is cantilevered to the wall and the curtains can fall behind them. When having guests sleep over, it's important to hide their clutter, and that's why I've designed these drawers behind the skirt. In this apartment, everything serves as double duty. The 27-inch dining table with bronze edge and starfire glass top not only adds functionality, but also adds glamour to the space. The kitchen, which is on the left side of the central axis, serves as an extension of the living room. I gave the kitchen island a sense of airiness by using mirrors on its base to give the illusion that it's a dining table. I designed a bronze cuff inside of the kitchen sink. I did this in order to incorporate other bronze elements throughout the space and to weave them in into the kitchen. Behind me, you'll find an entire wall of millwork where some cabinets incorporate appliances, others incorporate storage but my favorite part of the kitchen has to be the futuristic gas range. I love the fact that it's glass and it's flush and it works as a secondary work surface. Welcome to my bedroom. When designing a bedroom for two, storage is of the utmost importance. I did this by incorporating two 11-foot towers on either side of the bed. The top is for folded clothes, the central part is for belts and watches, and the bottom drawers are for other small items. And to incorporate an extra layer of luxury and comfort, I've used linen, wool, cotton, and cashmere. When designing the master bath, I took a lot of things into consideration. For maximum storage capabilities, I designed three six feet tall, two foot deep medicine cabinets. Second, I wanted to use a white silk wallpaper as a backsplash. So I designed a raised edge stone detail on the vanity top to stop any water from spilling over. In order to maximize utility and function, I decided to design a shower that goes in between the powder room and the master bathroom with access from both sides. Not only does this add privacy for me, but it also adds privacy for my overnight guests. I hope I showed you that form and function doesn't have to sacrifice beauty in design. Thank you for coming by.